Uh, so, yun yung final. You go to the dependent evaluation. Dependent evaluation naman, ititignan niya naman, STCW convention din, titignan niya rin kung um, our processors are covered by quality standard system. Tignan niya yun, quality siya. Uh, but, uh, if you look at the STCW convention, wala nakalagay dyan na if you do not uh, uh, if you do not comply with the provisions, uh, with, with the findings of the IE, you will be removed from the IMO. Hindi ko alam kung saan galing yung issue na yan. Yeah. But uh, how can you remove Philippines from the IMO? One, we are a member of the council. Member ka ng council eh. And we have 450,000 seafarers yes. on board at any one time. Uh, ibig sabihin kasi tanggalin ka. Uh, it will triple the industry. Yeah, every, everything, yeah. yeah. And that's not the intent of the IMO. Ang intent ng IMO is to always assist the member state to be able to comply. Dapat nga si IMO, ang role niya is, if there is a problem with the Philippines, we will send people to help, yes. to help, not to threaten. We, we were not threatened. So, now, tayo uh, in the Philippines, we keep on improving our our systems to comply we keep on raising our level to comply with the STC bill, STCW convention alam mo kasi kung titignan mo uh, we have an active 700,000 seafarers and 450 always on board that, that's very tough to manage dapat nga tayo yung yung may expert dito eh because we were able to continuously send and deploy competent seafarers in fact, number one tayo lagi. And when you look at history of me shops, in the past three years, siguro wala kang makita ang Filipino na involved sa maritime accident. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the beauty of that. Uh, and, and now we are saying our uh, seafarers are not competent. Dapat nga we influenced uh, the decision making, decision makers, IMO, on how to improve, to help other member states to improve their uh, management of the seafarers. In fact, yung ibang country nga, pumupunta sa akin noon eh. Nagtatanong kung ano yung best practices and they want to execute it in their system. So, yun yung ano, I hope I was able to clarify. Ano bang difference itong tatlong audit? audit. Even IMSAS, the, the most uh, comprehensive uh, or the highest form mm. of audit that uh, the IMO is established, um, hindi niya intention na if na pag na hindi ka nag-comply eh tanggalin ka sa white list yes. because the objective is really safety eh. mm -hmm. so the philippines in fact kung tingnan mo yung 2019 na na publication ng MSC na doon pa rin ang Pilipinas sa ano, sa list we were never we will not we will never be removed the IMO doesn't has no intention to remove member state it's their intention to help assist so that the member state will continue to comply with the SDCW Convention and, and the other aspect of the maritime. Thank you, sir. Uh, actually, that is a good clarification. Because we are always being threatened that we will be removed from the white list. Which is, uh, kung maganda ang sistema ng IMO, tama yung sinabi mo, sir, na the only intention is for us to comply, yeah. for us to improve our system, yeah. but right. never to remove the Philippines from the white list. But in Ibang countries, that's not the intention of the IMO. Yes, and I think that is really the intention for everyone to have the same standard, yes. for ever, everyone to be able to comply and improve right. what they have. So, ma magandang clarification to sir, kasi lagi na lang ang ipinapanakot sa atin na kaya kailangan tayo mag-comply dito sa mga trade na to, sa mga kung ano-ano pa, is because we will be removed from the white list. In fact, if you look at uh, Georgia, was the listed by was uh, the the EMSA withdrawn their support their seafarers, but they never removed from the IMO mm -hmm. as a member state. Okay, sir. Maraming salamat yan sa clarification na yan, sir. Gusto ba niyo ng balita sa maritime industry? Magsubscribe na at iklik ang notification bell. Para updated kayo sa mga susunod natin video sa ECV News. Salamat po!